welcome now from today we will learn about uh, graphing in latex using pdf tips that means uh, no more tutorials on uh, drawing will be uploaded since we have already covered most of the important tips features okay and uh, if you want to learn uh, in depth about tips then you can refer the tips manual which can be downloaded from the c website okay and uh, few things such as a fancy header a cover page and a table with tips i may upload in the future so without wasting the time let's uh, start today's part okay for graphing we have to use pgf plots package in the preamble actually pgf plots package is based on the pgf tips package and uh, this package is very powerful for uh, plotting the 2d and 3d crops as usual in tips just write uh, tips picture environment okay and after that just write begin axis and uh, end axis okay Now in axis environment, just write uh, backslash add plot, okay. This is the complete code for plotting a graph using PGF plots, okay. First of all, we have to write uh, tick picture environment, then axis environment with the axis options. And after that, just write backslash add plot, plot options in a square bracket and then formula. And after that, just close the plot instructions with the semicolon. Okay. Now I'll copy this. This one we'll see later. So I'll remove this. And this one also just remove and compile your file. Alright. Now we have four axes without plot. Okay. Here minimum and maximum values for x and y axis we can set. So at this place, in a square bracket, just write x min. For example, I want to use uh, 0 for the x minimum and uh, for the x maximum, I want to use 5. Similar to this, I want to use uh, y min and y max. Just compile your file. Alright, as you can see that values have been changed. Okay. Today we will see several options for the major and minor ticks. Okay. And in the next part, we will see several options for the axis lines. So I am writing the tick options. As you can see that here uh, default tick marks in the inward direction which we can change. Okay, so just go to this uh, option and uh, paste here. Alright. In the next we can also change the distance between ticks okay so just use x tick distance and value okay for example i want to use 1.5 unit for the x tick distance okay so just write here 1.5 and compile this file all right so in this way you can change x and y ticks values okay we can also remove the ticks from uh, right and uh, top side, okay. Just use the uh, x-tick pause is equal to left for printing ticks in the bottom, okay. And similar to this, just use y-tick is equal to left for printing uh, ticks in the left side. Compile your file, okay. Now in the next, we will set minor ticks. So just copy this minor tick num is equal to number okay and paste here for example i want to use five ticks okay just compile this file all right we can also change the length of the major and minor ticks with the help of uh, major tick length and uh, minor tick length okay just copy this and uh, paste here I want to use 4 mm okay similar to this we can set the minor tick length say 1 mm here we can also change the tick values okay so for this just use x tick is equal to and in a curly bracket just uh, set the values okay
all right we can also remove the ticks okay so for this just use here backslash empty okay with the help of tick style option we can change the color and uh, thickness of the ticks okay just copy this and paste here for example i want to use uh, red color so just write here red and also i want to use ultra thick option for the line width for the tick width okay if you are using more than one option then you should put uh, in a curly bracket okay compile your file all right and in the last i want to change the spacing between tick labels and tick lines okay so we can do this with the help of uh, tick label style option just copy this and paste here x tick level i want to shift in downward direction so just write here y shift i want to use 3 mm this one should be negative okay and this should be x shift compile your file okay we can also change the font size for the tick labels okay so in this curly bracket just write font is equal to and then uh, define the size i want to use large okay all right now i'll stop this tutorial at this point and the rest of the things we'll see in the next part okay so till then bye bye thanks for watching